All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, the goal today for you guys is to finish up the resume comments that we made yesterday. You'll see those of you who submitted the resume that I've given you feedback from your day off, and the goal today is just gonna be to follow up on that feedback, and I'll check in with you as you need. My biggest reason for my success is the staff. Um, everybody should have a goal today. Looks like your goal might just be to stay awake, and that's okay, but you should all have a goal, and that's how we're gonna move forward with it, so let's go. They communicate, and they actually care about us and how we're doing our work. The staff here looks at you more than a student. They look at you as family so that they're all in your corner and they won't give up on you. There's a variety of reasons they come here. Um, some are they weren't successful in the traditional school um, and word of mouth of how our students have so much one-on-one, -on -one, so much support. Um, teachers are really engaged and in tune to the student and um, we have the case managers piece that allows us to work with the whole student. The pandemic was extremely difficult for everyone um, but especially our at-risk student population. Uh, last spring I think everybody was caught off guard um, and we here at Christmas Addicts, we tried to patch it together with uh, packets and positivity, I like to say. So this summer we got together and we, we began to rethink our approach. Um, came back here this year ready to provide education that would meet the needs of our students, but more importantly, offer them the support and um, the regular check-ins that became so important uh, to their success. Hello. Hey, good morning, Natasha. How you doing? It's Mr. Green. Hey, what's great? How are you? I'm doing fine. Okay. Hey, just want to touch base with you. Hey, just want to let you know, Marion, um, you know, he's definitely making improvements and he's doing a good job. So I just wanted to touch base with you and just uh, give you another update on uh, the staff. Well, because of COVID, we've changed everything basically. Okay. We still have that one-on-one -on -one with the student, with the potential student, even though it's over the phone. We make sure that they understand that the basic documentation has to be in place. Once they do that, again, we make sure that everything is in place, we process the application, and then we move forward from that point on. Okay, and we do um, help very extensively with the Hispanic community and with the Hispanic students. We do have one-on-one -on -one with them as well, so they understand perfectly what that needs to be done. Uh, once the students are accepted and the trimester starts, um, the students split their time between uh, our service site for two weeks and the class setting for two weeks. Um, when they're in class, they're gonna spend two days in the classroom, and then every other day, including Friday, will be at home digital. Uh, that's how we maintain uh, our small class sizes and safe distance during COVID. Um, it's been a really unique experience because it offers such an opportunity for one-on-one -on -one learning, and the students get a lot out of it. Uh, for the virtual learning process for me this year in this school actually has been positive more than anything really because it actually helps out a lot on how the work is given and how the teachers are always there whenever you need and that you're able to just communicate with them through email or if you actually have to have like a Zoom class set up just to get a subject down and everything it actually helps out a lot. I really like the virtual setup because I could be home with my daughter, take care of her, and be able to get my work turned in on time. The Zoom meetings I like, it's it's really, it's, it's weird in a way. Like it's actually comfortable for you to wake up and just see everyone in a happy mood, all energetic. And like how they always say that they're a family, it actually shows a lot in the mornings. Like whenever you walk in or even on virtual, they have all the exact same attitude and it's always a warm, welcoming place, even if you're at your own home. Okay, grandmas and ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you all for joining us today. Today is Wednesday, as we know, all know what Wednesday is. Wednesday is Wisdom Wednesday. And Mr. Ayers' start of the day is, be intentional with your purposes. What does that mean? That means that, well, due to the, the COVID pandemic, we're not unable to have the physical interaction that we had previously in the past. However, this particular format, uh, dealing with uh, on, the, on the Zoom, interacting with the young people over the Zoom, 
allows us to go into a myriad of different topics, show different uh, educational and inspirational uh, videos that actually can get, get them uh, kind of motivated to get their, their day started. So like I said, even though we took something that was possibly a negative, we actually adapted with the time and actually found a way to, to constantly reach the minds and the, the hearts of our students. Okay, as far as my role as a case manager, it's a lot different this year. Um, there's some good things that we've added and then there's some things that um, I wish could be, be the same. However, again, this is the new normal. But as far as like one-on-one -on -one with our students, we don't get as much time because of social distance measure. However, um, we do have we do establish those relationships and do maintain communication through text messages. Uh, we have other rooms uh, where we can meet students at and conduct conferences versus in our offices as we typically do. Um, social media, Facebook, um, everyone pretty much has a Facebook account right now. Um, community has played a major role in our success here as far as serving serving. Um, our students um, and speaking of students they are the main advocates for our organization um, they are the ones who come here and have that hands-on experience of what makes Christmas Addicts different from any organization um, and those are you know pretty much the seed sowers of the community the one to spread the word um, on everything that they gain I think at the end of the day students just want a second chance they want a chance to prove that they are not who people already wrote them off to be. They are not the stereotype that people expect them to be. And I think that's what we do here. We give that second chance. To be able to say that you have a real diploma, um, of course not knocking the GED, but a real diploma that is state recognized. They can go to any place and it feels good to say I have a high school diploma and I think that is one of the draws of, of, of Christmas Addicts Youth Build Charter School. So if I could share a word of advice to uh, any fellow uh, Youth Build organizations, partners, etc. when it comes to you know, educating at-risk students, I would, I would say you have to do this thing authentically and you have to take in a realistic approach. Um, our youth now are, are elevated, in their, elevated in their thought process, so the ways and means that we may have used in the past are no longer, you know, valid today in communicating effectively with them. Um, our students like to see, you know, and communicate with real people and understand that um, we're not just staff members, but we're also individual, real people, real humans who have life experiences and can align with many of the things that our students go through. So it's important to you know be able to establish relationship, do those things. Um, I would say uh, if I had to leave a colleague or, or you know like I said another youth built uh, member with anything, I would certainly say uh, be intentional with creating relationships. Something as simple as saying good morning in the day, uh, good morning, uh, can change the narrative of that that student's day. I'm very glad I came to Youthville. I didn't know what to expect, but it was, but it really helped me because I wasn't going to get a diploma, but now I am going to get a diploma and I'm going to achieve my goals. At the end of the day, I think we're trying to keep these students up to date and up to speed so that they can be prepared uh, to leave here and step out into a world that, while also affected by COVID, has not slowed down one bit and is not gonna be ready to hand anything out to them. Uh, so we really push our students to, to accept the reality that they're in, to be positive about it, um, but to be ready for the speed of things as soon as they step out that door. I feel as if I'm being prepared for the next level greatly with all the resources that they provide for us. And they actually just wanna see us succeed in life.